Hello guys, welcome to the review of every single new Nightmare Gear card. So I got a bunch of screenshots with all the new gear and you'll be able to see how overpowered it is, what it does, and uh, when the new tower is released, we'll, you'll be able to uh, determine if it's worth it to grind for it or not. Uh, well, let's just give a little spoiler. There's a bunch of new brutalities and they're gonna be awesome. So we're gonna start this review with the epic accessory piece, which is called Demon Bat. And look at that, he's holding the head in his hand. It's so creepy. Anyway, after performing any special attack, a Demon Bat also attacks the victim, dealing additional damage and applying bleed while dying in the process. Demon Bat responds every 30 seconds. So I, I believe that as the fusion goes up, the bat is going to be uh, responding much uh, faster. And uh, this is pretty cool, right? Applying bleed. You can apply bleed every 30 seconds when you do special attack. I think it's absolutely crazy. Not every 30 seconds. Every 30 seconds if it's fusion zero. It's going to be much more, I'm sure. If it's fusion 10, probably going to be like 10 seconds, which is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely beautiful piece. So the previous tower, uh, the SRT tower was all about the fire. This one is probably going to be all about the bleeding. Power generation boost, 20% at base level is absolutely incredible. I wonder if it's going to go up to 30, 40, 50, probably up to 50%, which is going to be ridiculous. Power generation, I, in my opinion, is one of the most important and overpowered things in this game. So this piece of gear is going to be ridiculous. And uh, it also gives you damage boost and health boost in Nightmare Tower, which is coming... Some people saying today or tomorrow, or um, it, it might even come out by the time I upload this video, so you never know. Equipment cards can be set from the back of a character card. Wait, I'm reading the wrong thing. When, <laughs> when Demon Bad attacks an opponent affected by bleed, user heals for 20% of the victim's max health. So, if you put this on a character that already has bleed, you will heal so much. This is incredible for, for the survivor mode. Oh my god, this is insane piece of gear. By the way, guys, beginner series is coming tomorrow. Sorry, I had to, I already recorded the video, but uh, I got these screenshots, so I had to do uh, the video on this today and tomorrow. Uh, the first video of the beginner series coming out. It's gonna be epic. Also, a new contest. The new challenge for you guys is coming out soon. And this one is gonna be absolutely any level of player friendly. Absolutely everybody. Even if you started the game yesterday, you'll be able to participate in the challenge and even win it. So, stick around for that. L for now, let's just finish reviewing this gear. Because I'm, I'm really excited to see. I'm gonna grind for this tower, definitely, on one of my accounts. The ones that are still alive. So, yeah, this piece of gear is absolutely insane. I love bleed. Bleed is super OP. Let's move to the next one. Behan Visage. So, this is the part of the Noob Sai Bot set. Weird screenshot. 15% uh, health boost, 80% health boost in Nightmare Tower. Okay, 15% health boost for a rare piece of gear is absolutely insane. It's probably gonna go up to like 30%, 35 maybe even 40%, which is in amazing for a rare piece of gear. Chance to reflect basic attack when blocking. What? Oh my god, this is a new pretty interesting mechanic. I actually kind of like it. Uh, Alright, what's, what's the next part? Uh, if this is equipped alongside Behan's Tormentor, which is another piece of gear in the set. Any diamond noob cybot gets 40% chance to... Okay, we know that. And oh, basically brutality. Isn't that insane? And at the start of X-Ray or Fatal Blow, apply Death Mark. Wait, doesn't it do it... Wait, doesn't Noobsai Bot do it on any, every special attack anyway? This is interesting. I thought he, he always does it. Well, this is a rare piece of gear. It's not as exciting, but it's still pretty cool. Killer Jacket. 10% toughness boost. I wonder if they did something with toughness, because why would they, they... They definitely did something with recovery. Recovery is now much more powerful, so actually gear that has recovery can actually be useful in some situations. Uh, but toughness, toughness was always pretty useless, so and, uh, uh, only in case of the characters that have naturally very high toughness, only in those cases 
it had a, it mattered to put a toughness boost. But in towers it doesn't even matter because your enemy attack is probably going to be always higher than yours. Chance to gain shield after suffering from a lethal blow. Again, lethal blow is not that common to be honest in my opinion, so... I mean, there's some gear that can give you a lethal blow chance. So that is cool. If, if your opponent has it, you will have a chance to gain shield. And shield is probably one of the most powerful buffs in the game. Gain shield at the start of the match. You don't really need a shield in the start of the match unless you're fighting some X-ray teams, but then there are other ways to deal with it. I don't know, guys. This piece of gear for an epic is a little bit underwhelming. I I hope if I do get some epics, I will not get this one and I will get the previous one instead. Or both. I'll take both, but the previous one is so much more exciting for me. Chance to apply poison on combo ender. For a rare piece, seriously. Oh my god, this is basically Scarlet's infinite pile of blood but with poison. Oh, this is insane. Chance to also apply Weaken when poison is applied. Imagine putting this on Classic Reptile. And doing comp- oh my god! Or anybody on the team with Classic Reptile, this is incredible. Deal 35% uh, more damage on poison dots. Put this in classic reptile, guys. You will not gonna, you're not gonna regret it. This is insane. Oh my god, this piece of gear is incredible. Thunder Lord's sigil. Now we're getting Raiden's brutality. I'm gonna grind the tower just for the Raiden's brutality, my friends. Deal 5% of non-boss opponent's health as additional damage on stun. What? 5% of non-boss opponent's health as additional damage on stun. Oh, this is confusing. So whenever Raiden stuns, he'll deal 5% of their health, basically. Just take that, take 5% of the health. Not max health. Just health. Can Raiden stun? Which Raiden can stun? MK11 Raiden can stun. That's the only Raiden that can stun, right? And is there a gear that can stun? Maybe the second piece of the set can, can also stun, probably. Otherwise, it, it makes no sense, because Raiden is not known for his stuns. Uh, X-Ray Fatal Blow attack damage boost. Okay, Brutality, basically. Uh, let's see the second part of this. Uh, if, uh, for each debuff removed by the spell, gain one strength buff. Pretty underwhelming piece. I'll need to try it out if I get it, but so far it seems pretty underwhelming. I don't know. Okay, this is the epic piece of Raiden Brutality set. Ooh, Raiden Brutality sounds so amazing. 15% attack boost. This is all level 0, so it's gonna get much better at level X, guys. 15% attack boost, 30% chance to gain Dispel after performing a special attack. Okay. Now this way makes way more sense together with the previous piece. At least now you can gain uh, gain dispel by using special attacks. I mean, I know some radians have dispel on special one, which is not very useful unless I mean there is a lot of teams like uh, classic reptile that gives you uh, it gives you poison or uh, fire by a kill and scorpion. You would want to rinse it. It's pretty good actually, and it's nice to be able to rinse it on any special attack. Very useful. And thanks to the other piece. Oh, you can get strength and buffs for every dispel. And how? Wait, they stack, but are they? Do they expire? Is it permanent strength? I don't know. We'll have to test it out. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, ten percent chance for Raiden that lightning will strike the opponent on basic attack, dealing additional damage. Now this is pretty cool. I wonder how much damage is it gonna do. 1.5 bars of starting power unlock, uh, unlocks at Fusion X. I mean, this is Raiden piece. I have to be excited. Oh, I forgot Raiden. Sorry, baby. This is this is you. Look, this is you, but cooler, and prettier, and smarter, and more successful. 
this is basically the opposite of you. Anyway, this is... So far, the first epic piece we saw, the bed, seems to be the best one, I don't know, in my opinion. This one is... it's alright, it's pretty cool, but... If you compare it to Shirai Ryu Tower Gear, this is so much more underwhelming. I, I, they toned it down a lot, but it's still pretty cool, so I'll take it. Let's see the next piece. And, of course, Raiden Brutality, that's pretty cool, right? Another uncommon piece, Trophy Collection. Uh, resistance to Bleed, okay, this is pretty useful considering that probably a lot of enemies in this tower are gonna have bleed. Jason Voorhees gets a piece of gear. After being defeated, Jason resurrects and gains strength and one bar of power. Wait, doesn't he do it anyway? I don't get it. He does it already. Jason ga gains one bar of power. Slasher Jason. Wait, Unstoppable Jason? I think he also gains bar of power. I totally forgot. What does it does it does it mean they gain two bars of power now? That would be insane actually. That would be very OP. Imagine Slasher Jason every time he dies he comes back with two bars of power and then bam bam slashes everybody. That would be pretty cool. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Wait, Relentless Jason doesn't even resurrect, so it's not even gonna work on Relentless Jason. Behan's Tormentor! It's an epic uh, piece for the Noob Saibot Brutality set. Lethal Blow Chance. Alright, reduced power cost on all special attacks. Oh my god, how high is it gonna go? Please go to 50%. <laughs> That'll be insane. Imagine, 50% off on all special attacks. It's gonna be super massive for special ones. Oh my god, this is a good piece. Lethal Blow Chance. Again, I'm not a huge fan of Lethal Blow, though. It does 300% damage, right? So it's pretty cool. You can hit very strong. Actually, yeah, I like it. I like it. It's pretty cool. Uh, Alright, let's see what else. Gain one bar of power after in any teammate or ally summon is defeated. Oh, he summons an ally every time he... Uh, does special two, I think. I'm not sure. I forgot his. What I, I read it once and I forgot what he does. Gain a, a one bar of power. I wonder if if you pair him with Dark Lord Cordal Khan, is he gonna gain one bar of power every time the Oshtek is defeated? That's something. Uh, and also, what if there is like a uh, spec up Scorpion saving people? We'll need to experiment on it. Honestly, nothing beats the bat. Bat is just so insane. So much better than anything else. Uh, 80% health boost. 15% health boost. Again, another armor with health boost. This is cool. They added two rare armors. Wait, I already saw this one. Wait, did we see all four pieces? Wait a second. How can we have this twice? My bad, I messed up the order a little bit. Resistant to stun. Oh wow, for uncommon piece have 30%, it's probably gonna go to something like at least 50, I assume. Leatherface, gain permanent enrage when reduced below 20% health. Oh, this is cool. Leatherface is gonna be so cool with this. And resistance to stun. And only two things, I mean, it is an uncommon piece, so it makes sense. This is pretty cool, I like this one. Jump Rope Song, Critical Hit Damage Boost. Ooh, this is just like an uh, uncommon piece from Har Tower of Horror, what's it called? The Death Rattle? Some, some piece that gives you Critical Damage Boost. This is cool, this is cool, some damage boost for Nightmare Tower. Freddy Krueger, 30% chance to stun on special attack, what? I'm not very excited about this one, because for Freddy Krueger you want to use his special too, let's be honest, you always want to use his special too. It's just so good. It's alright, alright, my, my honest opinion about this whole set, it's not as powerful as uh, Shirai Ryu Tower set, but I think it's about in the same level as... Uh, Actually, I feel like Tower of Horror gear is also more powerful. There are some insane pieces like uh, Hellfire Blade with insane unblockable chance and Wailing Spirit with massive 
power stealing. Nothing in here actually, I think, as good as, as those pieces. And Shirai Ryu Tower is just so much, so much better than, so much better than this. I don't know, guys. This better be a good tower. This better be not a, be insanely difficult tower. Family tools. So far, I think this is the only piece that can uh, that is as powerful as other tower epic pieces. Like it, this can compete with the best tower epic pieces, in my opinion. Bleed on special attack. Bleed is so powerful, and power generation boost is so great. And healing, oh my god, this piece might be one of the best freaking pieces in the game, it's so good. But others, I don't know guys, let me know in the comments which piece you think is the best, and which one you're gonna be hoping to get from the tower. And I'll see you in the next video, have a wonderful day, and goodbye. Subscribe for more!